to math. All right, so I have some red chips and some green chips. We're going to use these to make some different equations. As I do this, I want you to think, are there any patterns that you notice? Let's start by having three red chips. One, two, three. And two blue chips. Sorry, two green chips. Let me write another sentence for that. I have three red chips. One, two, three. Plus two green chips. One, two. How many chips do I have in all? Did you say five? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five equals five. Now let's look at something else. What if I have two red chips? One, two plus three green chips. One, two, three. How many chips do I have in all? Did you say five? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, I have five chips in all. What do you notice about these pairs of equations? You can say, I notice. Did you notice that you're adding the same numbers, but they're flipped around? Here you're adding three and two. Here you flip them around and you're adding two and three. How are three plus two equals five? And two plus three equal five? How are they alike? What's the same about these two number sentences? You can say, I know this. Or you can say they are the same because. Yeah, maybe you notice that they both equal five. Or maybe you notice that the same numbers are added just in a different order. You have the same number in all, but the order got switched. Let's try another one. Okay, what if I have one green chip and four red chips? One, two, three, four. Let's write a number sentence for that. One green chip plus four, one, two, three, four, four red chips equals how many chips in all? That's right, it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's flip it around. Let's say I have one, two, three, four green chips. Now, four green chips plus one red chip equals how many chips in all? That's right, it's still five. Now what do you notice? Yeah, once again, it's still equal to five, but the numbers are in a different order. They got flipped around. What does this teach you about numbers when you add? You can say, now I know. Did you learn something new? I learned that the numbers can be in a different order. You can switch the order and it'll still add up to the same answer. Watch. What if we do a different one? Like five plus zero 
five greens plus zero reds equals five. Watch. One, two, three, four, five greens and zero reds, no reds, equals five in all. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think it's going to be the same if we switch it around and do zero plus five? Will the answer be the same? Will the answer still be five even though we switch the numbers around? Yeah, it will be. When you switch the numbers, it doesn't matter. It still adds up to the same answer. Zero plus five equals five. One, two, three, four, five reds. I have zero greens and I have one, two, three, four, five reds. Together that makes one, two, three, four, five. Pause now to do your math homework. Pausa hora para hacer tu tarea de matemáticas. Look at the equations on the next page. Pause the video so you can see the equations. Solve to find the answer to each equation. What goes on the other side of the equal sign? Use cubes, marbles, or drawings to help you. Mira las ecuaciones en la página siguiente. Pause el video para que puedas ver las ecuaciones. Resuelve para encontrar la respuesta a cada ecuación. Lo que ocurre al otro lado del signo igual. Usa cubos, canicas, o dibujos para ayudarte. Pause the video on this screen while you finish the equations. When you've done all six, both B's, both apples, and both pizzas, think, did you notice any patterns?